very cool seeing all your work. I mean, I, I have to say it does inspire people because, I mean, when you see, like, your step-to-step -step process, when I've seen you post pictures of yeah, you, you post all the time. working it's on nice. stuff, yeah, it's, it's nice. And it, I, I believe it does help people understand it's not just, like, you worked just on done. it last like, weekend. And yeah, and it's This done. is what you came up with. Yeah, no, it's, you yeah that's, that's, what, that was, that's what I want. I want to, to inspire people, and uh, I want to, obviously, I want to, uh, people to like my, my work. And uh, but when uh, when I get a comment uh, where uh, they someone says uh, you inspired me to to make this and uh, they they post a uh, a picture of what uh, what they made uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that really yeah, really dude. helps me. No, yeah, go, yeah it gets to you, man. It it hits you pretty deep. That's awesome. It's, yeah. yeah, we're lucky to have you in the community, dude. <laughs>
um, crescent moons uh, layered uh, and uh, offset uh, with each other. Um, yeah. Also, uh, the fact that uh, it's flowing, uh, floating uh, like that on the pedestal, uh, and the fact that uh, it kind of looks like um, um, I don't know how it's called, like um, like ribs. Yeah, I get you. Um, is because uh, I also like uh, like visiting museums uh, uh, where uh, usually the there are like dinosaur skeletons. Yeah, uh, on that type of exhibit type. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. spread out kind of. I totally get it. Mm-hmm. So those two were my main inspirations for the for this project. Uh, to this day, uh, I think it. It's my most appreciated design. Okay. And, um, I was going to say, it won you VOTM, but I mean, yeah, it's it's quite the build. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's more than really just a build. It, it's pretty much artwork. I mean, the way you did it, it's yeah. very, very thought through, and it's very artistic, I have to say. I mean, like, you, you see a ton of, ton of mods, and, you know, you can say they're really just mods, whereas I've seen people's builds and i'm like that's more of an art realm that you're getting into the way you've done that it's very thought through and placed in certain positions just for an exact look yeah thank you yeah that that was my goal and that is uh, generally my goal when uh, when uh, when working on this project yeah uh, which is um, trying to make art yeah, uh, trying to to step uh, to, to step out of the the old gaming and uh, PC enthusiast um, field and trying to to make, to make my to make my way into art uh, and design. Yeah, and no, design I feel I've seen that over the years with all your builds, man. Like it's every build you do is usually pretty different. It's never just a you know a case and then you put parts in it and maybe put a coat yeah. of paint on it. You actually uh, I don't like to say. I don't yeah. like to settle. <laughs> for sure. You have a CNC now. Uh, you yeah. use that for project owned, uh, right? The CNC. Yeah, I I cut uh, all the the, the moons uh, at the CNC. Yep. And it was actually my very first uh, project with uh, with oh, the machine. Very cool. Well, that's impressive, yeah. man. I mean, I've learned machining now over the past couple of years, and it's not something that you just kind of pick up overnight. So that's really cool. Yeah, it was actually a really simple uh, project to to make on the CNC because it was just uh, like to uh, the to the contours uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. What what's I think impressive uh, that I achieved on the CNC is actually this one, which is RS. Okay. And uh, this is your new build. It's all the it's all on the, on the. On the CNC, we're getting a sneak preview. Ooh, this yeah, is, yeah, that's really cool, man. So then you use the CNC. What um, would you say there is any other tools that you are pretty fond of for using for case modding? Yeah, um, I like to you to use um, the drill the drill press. Okay. And um, I had um, I had this cheap cheap ones cheap one before. Oh, nice. And recently, yeah, recently got this one. Oh wow! Much better, yeah. For Black for Black Friday, and uh, it's my my new <laughs> favorite tool. My, my new love. Yeah, I fell in love with this. <laughs> sure, yeah, I need a bench it, top drill press, man. I should have got one on Black Friday. Definitely yeah. need one. What really got you into first computers in general, and then when did that change into actually modding computers? Hmm. So as I mentioned before, um, I used I used to make um, like uh, gaming videos on mm-hmm. YouTube. Uh, it lasted. It, it didn't last uh, very long because I quickly uh, quickly became uh, the, the the modding guy. So yeah, no. <laughs> it didn't last very long. And uh, my first gaming PC was. Uh, was meant to to help me make uh, those videos, mm-hmm. and it was uh, 2013. 
Okay. My fir my first gaming build uh, wasn't actually built by me because uh, I I wasn't uh, that confident. I just uh, ordered uh, ordered it uh, at a shop, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> but I wasn't happy with uh, with the build, mm -hmm. so I I um, like the case lasted uh, two months and. Uh, I I decided to to buy a, a Corsair Graphite uh, 600T, mm -hmm. okay. which was uh, the first the first case I I built in. Sure, that's an and old it was one. Like, uh, 2014. Okay. And uh, to this day, it's still one of my favorite cases. Sure. Because it it was uh, just uh, very very elegant and uh, aggressive at the same time, and there was uh, overall a unique design uh, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's where it all but, started uh, for you then. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and um, that's also where uh, I I built my first uh, custom loop with uh, soft uh, soft tubing and okay. just uh, one radiator and uh, one uh, CPU block. Yep, and that was it. But that was the start of everything. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I feel like there's a big misconception with a lot of newcomers to the scene when they see somebody like you who who has made quite a few computers and then you get sponsors and whatnot and it seems like they mostly assume that like over the years you've just built hundreds of computers and stuff but like you said you ended up just taking apart your own computer dozens of times and that's yeah. how you got the experience and i think people should actually hear that because you know you don't need to build a new computer every day to get good at it yeah, you just, just play with what it. you have yeah I guess here's a good one. Did you have any like WTF moments during this build, like uh, a big mess up or something that really surprised you? Break a uh, chipset or graphics card or anything along those lines. Mm. So I I could say the the most difficult part, actually the most difficult. Good parts where to? Okay. And uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you. Sure. Right no, here. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. By all means. So, uh, the the most difficult part for this project was uh, for sure the the, the floating uh, pedestal. Yep. Because uh, I obviously had to release manually. Yep. Uh, they didn't fit in the drill press, oh. and uh, I just uh, used the the power drill. Yep, it turned out perfect. Though. I I originally made uh, this for only. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was uh, sucking sucking a lot. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, so you had to add. Support. Yeah, you need to add and another. I had to. Uh, I have to add this. Oh, okay. This one, and uh, is the the trophy, by the way. <laughs> nice. And, uh, the the second uh, issue was uh, because uh, there are uh, aluminum rods inside, yep. mm -hmm. which are uh, threaded at the sides. Oh, okay. And they hold everything together. But uh, I need I needed spacers to uh, actually space uh, and uh, fix the the moons. Yeah. In place, and uh, I had to use uh, aluminum tubes for that. Oh, okay. And uh, originally, I didn't want to cut them, cut them uh, myself because I needed a very snug and uh, yeah, very precise it's a really tight picture. fit. <clears throat> yeah, I I tried to 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 ask actually two or three businesses okay. to make those. I actually had them uh, make those, sure. and they they couldn't reach uh, an acceptable level of uh, accuracy. <laughs> really, you went through two or three yeah, shops. Yeah, that's um, tough. I, which is which is like uh, I'm talking. Uh, these were were meant to be 36 millimeters. Yep. In length. Yep. And uh, one shop. Uh, I then measured all, all the, the spacer, which were uh, 27 spacers. Mm -hmm. uh, that that um, that shop uh, made, and uh, they were almost 
all uh, like uh, two or three millimeters off. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> Very cool. So what would you uh, use your prize for? Is it gonna, do you think you'll go and uh, put it back into another build or you got some, some plans for the future? So um, I already used the, the, the coupon codes. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yep. Oh, you probably buy, did you pull his order? I didn't pull it, but I, yeah. I got the prices sent out and all that with it. Sure. Yeah. To buy some stuff like cables, tubes, fittings uh, that I was missing awesome. for Arts project. Okay. Very and, cool. Um, I also I also bought a couple uh, PCI Express risers. Sure. Which uh, I I I'm always lacking. Yeah, and they're not cheap, at least for the good ones. So. And they're not cheap, so I took <laughs> yeah. a chance. Awesome. No, that's very cool, man. And, and uh, glad it helps you with your, your future projects, because like you said, this year, yeah, for sure. you always wanted 2020 to be a big year, but as we all found out, it, it wasn't for anybody. It wasn't kind of a great year, but next year, yeah. hopefully, uh, things really get rolling now. I, I have high hopes for your case mod and uh, the Cooler Master competition. I think you'll, yeah. you'll take the cake, dude. You... Uh, have like a YouTube channel for explore modding, or where can people find more of your stuff? I have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's called uh, Simply Explore Modding. Um, I haven't had the chance to be consistent sure. on that. Well, neither are uh, we. <laughs> we totally we, understand. We try. <laughs> so, I think the the next BOTM should be starting. I think in the next day or two. I gotta check again. I've, yeah. Been a little busy, but yeah, there's going to be another BOTM soon, so people will be like, enter, and we'll of course see you there, won't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. For man. sure. Well, thank you. Like I said, it's been great chatting with you, and it's really cool to get to know you, man. And yeah. I can't wait it's to see you again. Pleasure, yeah. All right. <laughs> you, you have a great day, Alessandro. You too. See ya. You as well. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye.